Hey everybody, what's going on? Steel Boy here. Hope you're doing good and living the life. And also, I want to wish you a Happy New Year. That's right. Tonight is New Year's Eve. That's right. We're getting ready to celebrate the incoming 2019. Yeah! And what am I doing tonight? In fact, I'm not going to be doing much tonight. I'm just going to hang out at home. In fact, here's my New Year's date. Now, I live in Texas, and that's in the Central Time Zone. And right now, it's 10.01. So there's two hours left until New Year's. Now, when the clock does strike midnight, I am prepared. I do have my champagne. Now, it is just me here, so I don't know if I'm going to drink both bottles or not, but I know at least I'll drink one, because I can put away one, no sweat. Now, there is one more thing I am going to do until midnight, and it has to do with my Christmas present that I just got. My cousin was sick over Christmas, and we got together this past Saturday to watch the MMA fight and also exchange presents. I'm going to be practicing the drums. Now, I've never played the drums in my life. I never have. I... I don't even play an instrument. So my cousin got me this kind of as a gag gift because when I was younger and we both lived in Pittsburgh, I used to go over to his house and he was a drummer. I used to go downstairs and play on his drum set. He got tired of that because I was a mere six, seven years old and he didn't want me messing up his drums because he was a serious musician. Always used to hide the sticks, take the drums away. Well, now he was like, you want to play the drums? Here's a drum kit. So, that's how I'm going to spend my New Year's Eve. I'm going to go on YouTube and look up some drum videos, and I can get a couple drumming techniques down. Then, I'm going to watch a little bit of Ryan Seacrest, and then I'm going to switch to local coverage and watch the fireworks as it turns to midnight here in Texas. Or I could just come outside here and listen to the fireworks because, yeah, there's no shortage of them. Now, there's up to a $3,000 fine if you're caught popping fireworks in the city, but I guess people aren't afraid of that because they are popping them pretty uh, frequently and the dog's not too happy about it. All right, and those are my plans for New Year's Eve. Pretty exciting, aren't they? <laughs> hey guys, I just want to remind you, if you haven't hit subscribe yet, please hit that subscribe button below and stick around a while because I think you're going to like what you see here. Also, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down or better yet, go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know how you really feel. Also, hit that bell notification below as well because that's going to tell you when I release my vlogs and it's going to keep you in the loop. If you want to reach out to me on Facebook or Twitter, those are in the descriptions below. And as always, this is Steel Boy. I'll catch you on the flip side. And also, have a very, very, very happy new year. I'll see you next year.